Hi Taurus, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your reading today. Uh, a few things here before we get started. Just want to say everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below for those of you um, that your person here shows up in the reading. You know, somebody here that you are thinking about. We'll do the almost personal reading where we'll look at what your person's thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. Um, so again, extended reading link is below in the description box. So with that, Taurus, let's get started. Also, I want to say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you. So here we go. Let's see what we got. All right. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we'll pull the bottom card here. We have past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. So, I mean, right off the bat here, um, I'm picking up there are feelings here, okay, between you and somebody. Okay, there's a strong connection here, past life relationship. Um, okay, so, you know, you may have had to pull back your energy from this person, okay, maybe feeling like this person has not, um, you know, put in the, the effort here. But let's see what the Major Arcana cards show here before I, I say anything more. But I, I feel like I'm picking up the energy of somebody here you have a very strong connection with. Okay, let's see here. Let's pull the Major Arcanas. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. We have Justice, we have strong uh, Cancerian, Pisces, and Libra energy. And we have the World card, wow. Okay, we have strong Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and your energy, uh, Taurus. So the High Priestess here with uh, Love Yourself First, all right? I feel with this love yourself first here, um, I feel like in, the, in this uh, high priestess, I get the energy here with romantic feelings here. Like you're, I feel like there's somebody here, right, needing to either confess something or say something or show their interest here. Can be also making something right, uh, putting things into perspective and balance here. Okay, but uh, your higher self here, I feel, is, is telling you that there needs to be some sort of change, I feel, in this connection for things to work. Okay, the Justice card here, um, I feel here too with the past life relationship, this, this could definitely be um, a past life, you know, contract uh, soulmates, very strong soulmate tie here. But I feel like there is somebody here in this connection who hasn't really completely expressed uh, how they feel here, okay? And it, it may be here that you're trying to find the balance uh, with this person because it feels like, right, maybe you're feeling like this person isn't valuing you. You have the world card here as well with the past life relationship. So it feels like there's some sort of change, some sort of new cycle. It's a good card. It's a powerful card. Uh, it talks about, you know, endings and new beginnings here, but also feeling good and feeling uh, on top of the world here. So I feel um, there's an energy of something here that is about to happen or change. Um, and part of it can be that you had to learn through with this person, right, to love yourself first, okay? So let's see here. Um, I'm going to say here uh, letters B and J uh, may have, may be important letters to, to you, people, places, or things. So let's pull some cards. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got the High Priestess again. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, I'm really feeling here like um, your intuition may be telling you like there's lack of action here from somebody, okay? You know, you got the Five of Pentacles here, right? It's definitely an energy of lack, maybe feeling left behind. You know, you may be feeling, you know, 
Oh, I want to say like you could be feeling like like clueless, like right, it's unknown here, right, how this person feels for you because I feel like this person hasn't taken a whole lot of action, right? Maybe feeling like you're not feeling valued is the energy that I get there. We have Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, your energy, Taurus, right? And we also have Aries, Leo, Sag energy, strong Cancer, strong Pisces. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see what else comes out here. Okay, so you have the death card here. We have strong Scorpio energy. We have the Empress. Quite a few uh, major arcana cards here. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay. All right. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Two of Cups. So... I'm going to say here, some of you, this could be a completely new cycle that you're moving into, you know, coming out of a place of lack of a, of a relationship, possibly here where you weren't getting the effort here. But for others, I feel like this could be somebody here that you know. You also have here the Page of Cups. This is telling me here that I do feel like there is some sort of gesture here, right? Somebody uh, making the gesture here, somebody here that does sincerely have feelings for you, mutual feelings for you here. And that might be where I see here, somebody here wanting to express, right, how they feel for you. Now, it can be an apology because I do feel like somebody here maybe didn't val you know, value you here in the past. Um, but you have the death card. So some of you, this could actually very well be somebody, right, where there was some sort of ending here. With the justice card, I mean, it could even be somebody that you... There was a legal separation or, you know, maybe even a divorce here. But I see a transformation. I see um, an energy here where things are changing, okay? Because you have the death rebirth card here. You have the empress, which also can be about a rebirth here, right? The manifestation of something here. Now, sometimes here too, with this five of pentacles, this can be a, a, an energy of delays, right? Maybe feeling like there's not a whole lot of movement here, but you have the six of cups as well. So I feel what you have here. I feel a situation here is about to change upcoming. I feel like somebody here is going to reach out to you here with this page of cups. Some of you, it could be a new person. Some of you, I feel like this is um, you know, some a past love here, somebody you've made some memories with, somebody where there is mutual feelings, okay? Um, this could be somebody too that, uh, this could be a connection that started as a friendship or maybe it is a friendship um, and, and you're not too sure how this person feels about you, okay? Let's see now uh, what this, what uh, else we can see here for you, Taurus. What else can you show Taurus here? All right. The energy is changing, okay? You're going from a place of lack, maybe feeling not not valued to a new beginning here, right? Somebody um who is catching up with you. I see communication here as well. Right? Maybe expressing how they feel. So let's see uh, what else we can show Taurus. Okay. So five of swords. So it does feel like Possibly here a past situation or a past love. We have the nine of wands. And we have the two of swords and bottom of the deck. Look at that. We have the world card. All right. There's definitely an energy here of conflict. Um, there's an energy here of possibly here. Right. Remember that heavy burden possibly feeling beat up here and an energy with the two of swords maybe feeling like somebody here is being indecisive and then you also have here the world card okay there's definitely some sort of change um let's clarify you have the the high priestess you have the death card let's see what came out i wasn't ready yeah somebody's holding back here in this connection Okay, somebody's holding back here. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? We have the Three of Swords. We have the King of Swords. We have the Tower. 
bottom of the deck, yeah. I'm going to say here, Taurus, you got somebody I feel uh, who is holding back, all right? I feel like this person is holding back, and the reason I feel like this person is holding back is I feel like there was something very traumatic in their life that happened, okay? And I feel like this person is still healing from it. It can be a past relationship. It can be something else. Um, I feel here that that's with the conflict. It could be a breakup between you and this person. You have the King of Swords. I feel like this person is somebody here who is um, very, very guarded, okay? this per It feels like this person is very, very guarded. But I'm also going to say here, I do feel like you could get some communication uh, unexpectedly from this person, okay? But it feels like this person is being a bit of a hermit, strong Virgo energy. This is someone who's thinking about the future here with the Two of Wands. You do have the Nine of Wands. So I feel at some point you're going to hear from this person here. I'm really picking up. I, I don't, I'm not getting a, a new energy. It, more and more it's feeling like this is somebody that you know here. Why is the um, Nine of Wands here? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, you got three world cards here. Every deck here, you got the world card, all right? There's something here that's about to change, okay? So you have the two of pentacles, okay? You have the five of pentacles, the empress, the nine of wands. Somebody here has been very uh, back and forth, wishy-washy, right? Um... There's the Nine of Wands here. So somebody here is very, very guarded. And I feel with that energy, it's like, it's almost like that energy where this person doesn't know. They're not too sure. I feel like there's an imbalance here. Okay. This is someone who's not re re like uh, listening to their feelings, their emotions, their heart. They're very closed off, I feel, with their heart. They're very guarded here. You have the Ace of Swords and you have the Six of Swords. Now, distance could be a factor between you and this person here. Um, but this is somebody who's been holding back, I feel, from communicating. All right. But like I said, I feel like that's all changing. You have the Five of Swords here. Now you have the Six of Swords and you have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this person's making the decision to, to communicate here. Maybe what was lacking here, okay? Feeling like two. It could be something here where this person, there was a lot they wanted to say, but they didn't say it. Let's clarify why the, the two of swords is here, please. We have the ten of cups. We have the hierophant. Oh, look at that. The four of wands. Yeah, you got some. This is somebody who was indecisive with you. Either somebody here was in another relationship or another connection here, um, and they never really could make a decision here. You got the Three of Cups here as well. I feel like you got somebody here who's been indecisive and really indecisive around relationship and commitment here, right? With the um, Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, your energy, Taurus, and the Four of Wands. It's interesting, Taurus, because the connection is here. The connection is here with this person. And I feel like you're going to get communication. I feel like there's a lot of communication that's going to happen between you and this person. I feel like this person's going to reach out, and I feel like you're going to connect with this person. But I also get the energy that this is somebody who they're holding back from commitment for whatever reason or taking things to the next level uh, whatever that means for you okay it's not clear their feelings i feel here are not clear to you in meaning i don't feel like this person has the you this person has recently told you how they feel let's pull some more cards here it's interesting it feels complicated to me i don't know why nine of pentacles the chariot, strong cancerian energy, 
the hangman yeah this is someone who's moving really slow look at that and the hermit showed up again you got somebody here um look at that here it is again four of pentacles i mean really strong energy here there's a connection here right there's feelings here i don't feel like you're getting the effort here from somebody here that you're putting in i feel like this is someone who's moving really slow it feels like there is delays here this is somebody here i feel is not too sure if they want to move forward towards something more committed could be dealing with a virgo could be dealing with a cancer and we have earth here as well and again like i said somebody is pulling back here okay so I'm going to pull some um, some Kipper cards. Let's see here. What else can you uh, tell Taurus? What you know? Let's just ask. Why is um, this person holding back? What can you show Taurus? Why is this person holding back? Huh? Sudden wealth. <laughs> okay, maybe your person won the lotter lotto and they don't want to share. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I feel here too. Could be a financial situation. Maybe this person here doesn't want to share their assets, their money here. Interesting. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, look at that. Poverty. Interesting. Energy of lack. This may be somebody who's not wanting to commit because they have fear of... of um, you know, losing their money, their wealth, or something like that. Maybe feeling like um, you're wanting to be in this connection or relationship for their potential, more so. Interesting. And you have your pathway. All right. So it's almost like this person knows that, right, there's a happy path up ahead. Right, there's a there's a happy path up ahead. There is a lot of possibilities that could happen here. But there's something around money I feel here that is a concern for this person. It's interesting. Well look at that. As I say, concern. Yeah, money is a concern. Now some of you it could be around that maybe this person isn't feeling like they're in a place, right? If your person is not someone who does well financially, it could be this person is feeling they're not in the right place financially. Um, but others, I feel like this is somebody who has the concern, right, of sharing money. Oh, look at that. False person. Remember I just said here they may be feeling like you, you're in it for their, you know, their potential or something else here. This also could be somebody not real with you. Let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> All right. We also have your bad health. Okay. Yeah, this could be somebody here who's not being completely honest with you um, around why things aren't moving to the next level or not really being clear about intentions here. Now, this person could have some health issues um, or somebody here in the connection may have health issues or you know there could be i feel like there's something here where this person isn't completely being honest about something here okay but i'm gonna say here you do have gift on the bottom of the deck here i do feel like this person is reaching out but there's something here that is holding this person's this person back i feel um from taking things to the next level all right I feel like you're going to hurt, hear from this person. Yeah, you know, it's almost like this person may be feeling like you're not being real with them. They may have some, uh, they may feel like you, you know, you're, maybe you want to be with them, maybe because the, of their money or their wealth or something like that. All right, so interesting. So I'm going to take it to the almost personal reading. Taurus, we're going to see where this goes. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.